We've been effectually using the term wild sheep family for years. It describes a special bond we see at our convention and our banquets, our meetings on wild sheep enhancement projects, and around our campfires and on the mountain. Family represents a dedication to a common cause and a dedication to each other. This extended family atmosphere is rare, and we're very proud of this fact. The real strength and benefit of being a part of a family is a family is always there when we need it, and we all need it now. As you know, our Wild Sheep family consists of our members, giving society members, donors, sponsors, and exhibitors, many of which are all one and the same. Our family also includes our agency partners, as well as our dedicated staff and our own personal families. As a family, we will get through this pandemic together, working together, supporting each other, and creatively addressing the challenges coming our way. As for our purpose of putting and keeping wild sheep on the mountain, we will be looking for that light at the end of this tunnel. In the meantime, we will remain vigilant, focusing on that bighorn, thinhorn, or our galley ram, ewe, and lamb on the ridge, ensuring that they will be there and healthy. Just as important, we now need to focus our attention on the system of wildlife conservation that put them there and ensure that it stays just as healthy. As a family of hunter conservationists, we understand how this system works, how it is funded, who does the work, who provides the products and services for sportsmen that give back to the system, how our wildlife and the habitats that support them ultimately benefit, and how our people benefit. This is a system of wildlife conservation that has proven its worth for over a century. It too will survive this challenge but it'll take a renewed effort and purpose on everyone's part. The Wild Sheep Foundation family is uniquely qualified to lead in this effort due to the strength of our members, sponsors, and partners, and their passion for wild sheep conservation and mountain hunting, as well as the lifestyle this represents. These are tough and unprecedented times for sure, and we won't see or feel the collateral damage to this system for months to come. Our conservation model and our people are going to take a hit. How big of a hit is up to us and the decisions we make and the actions we take now. Globally, we've lost many hunting opportunities since March. And while we remain optimistic, the summer and fall seasons could be in question. We've also lost fundraising banquets and other industry events. Some have been rescheduled for the summer and we're hopeful that they will move forward. This loss is being felt across our family. When we can't get out and do what we love to do, there is a ripple effect, the likes of which we have not seen before. Those who rely on sportsmen doing what they do, from our guides, outfitters, and travel companies, and our state, provincial, territorial, tribal, and First Nation agencies, to our manufacturing partners, biologists, and wildlife managers, to our other conservation organization partners, and all the other businesses down the line into our rural communities all rely on the economic engine sportsmen provide. Most of all, the beneficiaries of this entire system, our wildlife, rely on, well, all of us. A good question now is, what to do? There's no simple answer, but if I could offer one, it would be, do as much as you can do and what you can afford. Purchase those hunting and fishing licenses, tags, and permits, even if you may not be able to use them. Our agencies need this revenue to fulfill their missions. Renew or upgrade your memberships. Keep your deposits for trips you have booked. And don't act too hastily to cancel or try and just roll them forward a year. This may not be possible. To our outfitter friends, please work to honor your clients' deposits. Many have saved for years to book their dream hunt. Outfitters and clients alike need to understand that it may very well take two to five years to make up for lost 2020 seasons. Take advantage of special offers from our manufacturing partners and bank those goods for brighter days ahead. Buy those raffle tickets and bid in the online auctions. And most of all, work together, be flexible, be understanding, Think about the other members of our family and their situations.
talk openly with them and be patient, respectful, and creative. Lastly, stay engaged and keep positive. Let your organizations, agencies, and legislatures know what you're seeing out there. The observation-based input from boots on the ground sportsmen is also a critical part of our conservation system. Sadly, some of our family's businesses may not survive this global shutdown, but by staying the course, we can ensure that most do. As for WSF, we will continue to do what we do, focus on the mountain game of the world. This too will take on a whole new meaning. If we do lose some or all of our summer and fall hunting opportunities, we can't expect our wildlife resources to pick up the tab next year. We cannot and will not over harvest to make up for financial shortfalls. That's not how we do things. That's not what made this conservation model so successful. WSF is a wild sheep conservation organization. First and foremost, we will not stray from this mission. We all have a greater responsibility. Over a century ago, sportsmen were trusted with the recovery of depleted big game populations. And our forefathers did just that, even through two world wars and the Great Depression. In closing, be strong, be safe, and stay healthy. We are sheep and mountain hunters. We are the Wild Sheep Foundation family. We've got this. Thank you.